tamas. Then we'll go up the ladder. What is tamas? Lethargy, indulgence. Sorry? Selfish? Could come another category. See, when you say selfish, isn't there a connotation to a particular action? And just now you said lethargy, inaction. So there is a more inclination towards indolence, sloth, lethargy, inaction. So tamas is a, an area where it is ignorance, ignorance prevails, inertia, an attitude to procrastinate, you know, postponing nature. Anything you are told, pakla. Choose them. Dekhenge. Ah, zerur, zerur dekhenge. Definitely we'll see when we are, that, that will never happen. Laziness. Or to keep pushing it to a to the future. Tamas can be said as not acting. Tamas can also be said as someone who does not change the course of action. Okay, you are doing something, I will continue to do the same thing. I will not do anything other than that. Why? What is not interest? not wanting to take responsibility, but why does someone behave that way, not wanting to change the course of action? To change, uh, to bring about a change, you need to put in effort, which tamasic nature does not encourage him to or compel him to put that effort. So since he does not want to put that extra effort, he will remain the same the same way. So tamas can be said inaction. Tamas is not wanting to act anything else. So when you give a new idea, they are not very welcoming. They are very rigid. They are not, they don't want to learn something new. That also is Tamas. So it has a very broad connotation. Best of us have tamas in us. It's for the best you can do is to identify your areas of tamas and work on it. Because you also have tamas, I also have tamas. So how does that tamas function is important to identify. You know what is the the definition of law of inertia or law of motion? You know, an object will continue to be in motion or, or at rest unless and until an external force is acted upon. So an object will not move unless somebody or something external acts on it or an, act, an object will continue to be in a motion in a particular direction unless something is acted upon. A beautiful way, this is science I am talking. So in an organization, sir, you as a head of a department or head of organization, you know your, your, your staff, you know your members. When they are only going on in a particular direction without their ability, ability to adapt to that changing dynamic scenario, that means tamas. But the moment somebody is able to adapt to that change and change the course of action, he is already beyond tamas, rajas or sattva. Because he is, he is moved out of the platform of Tamas going to Rajas. So it will be very safe to say Tamas is in action. Now, 
and what is it the people who are in tamas what do they what fruits do they reap what is the benefit of tamas or what do the tamasic find tamasic people find themselves they are known outcome means it's very predictable what i am trying to get is a tamasic person finds himself very peaceful he is very much at ease at peace because of it and the peace is coming out of sloth no attempt no action no effort lazy life no vision there is no nothing to drive him towards life everything is taken for granted somebody is providing you know it, it happened in a a case a well wisher in anonymity was sending funds to a beneficiary and actually the the anonymous source was her own brother he found her sister was in deep hell because her husband passed away and she needed to raise the child and the family was in tatters so he wanted to help so he anonymously made sure that the sister gets help didn't want to know so told the secretary make sure arrangement the funds go to her uh, kept receiving the funds because the uh, the postman used to come and give that she kept receiving never ever bother to find out who is sending it what is that attitude yes attic by it, it it comes under in fact when you say this what is a most tamasic action one can perform the west tamasic act in terms of uh to earn something to earn wealth what could be the most tamasic way so wealth by itself is not wrong the like wealth is lakshmi it is worshiped it is how you procure it tamasic people procure it rajasic people procure it a sattvic person also procures it through the different means the path they adopt so so the satisfaction is yet i'm saying how you methodology how you adopt to get wealth so tamasic person goes without effort so what is that act can you give me a description sorry ma beggars you can say so cheating gambling a lottery gambling is one of the most uh tamasic way of earning wealth and i have i have had chances of visiting the a casino because it was in one of the uh tourist locations in malaysia and whenever somebody came along to just so we used to go there it's a beautiful uh cable drive up in Genting, you know the the biggest casinos in Southeast Asia. So happened to take a few times over the years, and just to know what it is, just walk in and just see education thing. And what sparkle me is the parents bring their kids, and kids are not allowed into the casinos. So the kids are. right outside the casino waiting for the parents to finish their so called chores come back and the kids are there in the environment the parents could be gambling but what the kind of environment you exposing a kids to so what is the thought of a a gambler i want to earn as much without putting in any effort least effort the least effort is by a lottery become a millionaire overnight
little bit yeah so the worst is lottery but the thought is that which is very revulsive to earn something without working for it without striving for it is very uncomforting or to even have something and not be grateful for it is the worst as shakespeare says ingratitude stronger than traitor's arms quite vanquished him so what kills you is not your traitor it is your own ingratitude ingratitude stronger than traitor's arms quite vanquished him vanquished means destroyed him it's his own ingratitude in fact every play of shakespeare brings out this quality of ingratitude every play subtly he puts it there's so much to take away so tamas is inaction and peace